what's up? Now one angle. We're going from all angles with your boy Dom Rogan, aka Fallen Angel. Marab versus Cejudo. I wasn't even planning on doing this card, but people ask my thoughts over and over, so I'm just gonna address it for everybody. Three fights, one at a time. Starting with this one. Um, first of all, we're just gonna cut to the chase. Who do I pick? Marab. Who do I like? Both athletes. But let me break it down. <clears throat> We have Marab, long unbeaten streak, good strength of schedule, beat John Dotson, one of the best to do it at that weight class. Marais, talented but inconsistent, also beat by uh, Cejudo, but with a lot more trouble till he turned to a thug. Auto. Systematic breakdown. Jan, systematic breakdown. We have Cejudo. Hand fighting a long time for Al Jermaine. Al Jermaine trains with Marab. I personally think if you look at the sport MMA for mixed martial arts, which I believe very few people are, if you really break down these athletes, they have a strong point and everything else is generally weak or a strong point and a high point and everything else is weak. Marab is strong in pretty much all areas. He doesn't, he's not really weak in any area. Why I find that Al Jermaine has more areas of weakness than Marab. So I will put him as the better athlete who's just been sitting there being a real friend. So Hudo came back off a long layoff and lost to who I, who I feel is the, I can't say the lesser athlete, but the lesser martial artist out of him and Marab. He beat Cruz. He beat Marais. Yet again, a talented yet inconsistent person. These were his last wins. I do not like how Cejudo, it is very strange to me how an Olympian and a, and a two division champ when when he lost to Sterling, he was talking about retirement. He hasn't even fought Marab, and he's talking about if he can't beat him, he needs to think about retiring. There are some people, correct myself, as a high-level athlete, you never want to have one foot in the cage and one foot out, or one foot in the door, one out, to go back and correct myself on what I was going to say. There are particular athletes this is even more adverse against, and Marab is one of those. He's well-rounded. He's tenacious. He has a bottomless gas tank, and he's a sophisticated and a basically a sophisticated whirlwind in his style. And there's a method to the madness as seen as a, in his systematic systematic breakdown of Jan and Aldo. He can make you fight a Marab fight instead of your fight, which is detrimental to you, especially if your mind isn't in the game. So Hudo did not get every takedown on Aldo. He, I mean, correction on Sterling. So, so Hudo could not keep Sterling down. And Sterling... Might be bigger than Marab, but the chaos caused in the scrambles, I don't see him being able to keep him down if he gets him down either. And so who don't need space? You know, he has a, almost like the karate stance. He needs time. He likes to set traps and everything. Didn't work with Jan, a beautiful boxer. Auto, a very good kickboxer. And I think it's going to be the same with Cejudo. I don't think this fight is going to go his way as much as I like him for various reasons, some mental. I also don't like how it was very, I felt embarrassed for the coach, for Eric to fire him essentially on, um, on the countdown. 
If you study sports statistics, especially combat sports, things generally don't go well for an athlete or they don't go well for long when they have somebody who knows them as a person first and an athlete second and has been a long time coach and they switch coaches. It, it doesn't tend to go well statistically. And he's switching coaches for this camp. It sounded like maybe some reasons are behind it, but me personally, if somebody coached me through the Olympics into two titles and two divisions, I would sit down man to man. Maybe it's because I'm old school and talk to them about these things because he said he doesn't want people telling them good or bad in his ear or getting too comfortable and have a talk with that particular individual and keep that individual, if not get rid of the rest. Then he brings in his brother who, as far as I know, doesn't, does it hasn't even fought. So I I, I think it's going to be competitive for a while until the house gets caught in a tornado, basically. So I'm giving it to Marab for these reasons. He's too focused. He's too diverse. He's been in there. He's faced too many styles and uh, too many styles too recently compared to Cejudo because Cejudo has faced those styles too and uh, that's where I lean. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You already know, patreon.com backslash project one for all my nonprofit support it keep the channel going keep everything going and i am out